Welcome to episode 10 of the tutorial series LiveWire 3 from scratch. My name is William Juma. In this episode, we are going to look at lazy loading in LiveWire 3. Very slow queries require a lot of time to complete. In this, they delay the whole page within that time. So if a query delays for like five seconds, the page load will continue up until five seconds and then it will be able to show. But to be able to give a good user experience to our users, we can be able to use lazy loading to display whatever it is that can be displayed at first and then afterwards be able to load uh, the component or in other words the component that has queries that take a while for them to complete to be displayed afterwards. I would like to give an example using our navigation bar component. Of course this is not a very good example actually but we are going to give the navigation bar a delay of 10 seconds or 5 seconds to just simulate a query with a delay of five seconds. So what we are going to do inside our navigation bar class, inside our navigation bar live wire class, we are going to give it a delay by giving slip of five seconds like that. Now, once we have it like this, as you can see, if we attempt to load this page, it's actually taking a while for it to be able to load and then it loads so in other words the whole page is delayed for five seconds in this case it can be very bad user uh, experience but if we want to improve it we can be able to go to our live wire layout file up to blade where we are including our navbar and just here just write lazy like that by doing this our navigation bar is going to be loaded lazily in this case every other thing in our page will be displayed and then as we wait for the navigation bar to be completed or in that in, in this case a query that is taking a long time to be completed and displayed I want us to give an example and, and look at it. So when I refresh, now you can see the navigation bar is not there. But I want you to pay keen attention because it's going to show. Now our navigation bar has been able to be loaded after the five seconds. So in this case, every other component that does not require, that does not have a delay, that does not require lazy loading can be loaded and then after that, then whatever is that remained can be loaded afterwards. And in this case, you can be able to have your page loading a little bit faster. I would like to go ahead and uh, talk about the placeholder. So it's possible for us to put sort of a spinner or a loader or a placeholder here, such that we can be able to show our user that there is some expectation on something that we want to be displayed here. And uh, once we show the loader, after the page is, after the component is now loaded, then the loader will disappear. So basically, for us to be able to do that, I would like us to have a placeholder class inside our live wire, a placeholder method inside our live wire class. So I'm going to open up live wire navig navbar. And above here, we are going to have placeholder public function. placeholder and inside here we can be able to render the, the same way we usually render the inline class in a live wire so basically I'm going to have some HTML here so return then we are going to have that and then uh, HTML and then, of course, we can be able to go ahead and close our HTML by just having HT, I mean HTML like that. 
inside here I would like us to have a div so you have a div with a class of a placeholder glow this one is just a bootstrap class we will close this div and then we will also have a div inside it now that you display sort of our loading bar or something so here you have maybe div class column i mean placeholder column 12 maybe i want a bar that covers the whole sort of place where we have the navigation bar then we will close our div like that now if i'm i'm able to save this if i refresh now instead of seeing nothing here we are going to see something interesting so you can see it say it's, it's as if there's something that we're expecting but then now once the page is ready we can be able to load it it is also possible for us to use lazy loading attributes so basically we can be able to change some of the things in our code and um, above here i'm going to just say that this component is going to be loaded lazily so inside here lazy if you have seen the previous tutorials we have places where we are using the attributes so we can be able to say use live wire attributes and then our attribute is called lazy and then obviously we can place the attribute before the class where we are extending it every other thing remains exactly the way it is and now if we save it and then we go to our component our app.blade.php component here we can just say lazy is equals to true because already we have set our component to lazy load by default so you can either have it as true or you can change it to false when we refresh still the same thing happens and then we are able to load our navigation bar this is the end of the tutorial episode Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. By doing this, you'll be notified when I upload another awesome video. If you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up, you can share it. You are also welcome to comment below if you liked this video or if you have any contributions to add. Thank you very much.